You are in the right place if you're looking for a clear guide on how to start airdrop farming. I've picked out some promising airdrop farming projects for you. It's straightforward. Just follow my guide and find opportunities worth your time. Depending on what you have more of, time or money, I guide you on which airdrops to target to make it clear which option suits for your situation. Let's dive in. First things first, finding the right airdrop opportunities is very important. There's more than 100 projects to farm out there, but not all are worth your time or your investment. A fellow Twitter degen has curated a list of promising airdrop projects on his Notion page, linked below. This list is your treasure map to airdrop gold. This list is simply amazing. You can find all the different projects here like a Monad, ZK Sync, Layer Zero, which tier these airdrops are, S tier is the best, what are the costs of these, uh, free, might be Monad for example, Eclipse also free, others uh, need a lot of liquidity, and uh, the funding of these different projects, Monad for example got 19 million in funding, ZK Sync got uh, more than 450 million in funding from VCs, from uh, venture capital funds, and you can see on uh, which chains these projects are. Um, something on Celestia is a lot cheaper than something on Ethereum. So if you don't have a lot of funds, uh, farming Athena Labs uh, doesn't make sense for you. If you don't have a lot of funds, uh, farm something like uh, Caldera, it's free, Fuel Network. Um, or uh, you can just uh, search for something on the Solana blockchain like uh, Parcel, Tensor or Zeta Markets. So there's a lot of opportunities here and these are 96 projects in this table. Uh, happy farming. Now let's talk strategy. Your approach to airdrops should match your resources. If you've got more time than money, focus on big layer 2 airdrops. More capital intensive, but offer substantial rewards. On the flip side, if you're rich in time, but not in funds, aim for a cheap layer 1 project, staking airdrops or test nets. These options require more of your time, but less upfront investment. Got your targets? Great! Next up, you'll need the right wallet for airdrops. I recommend the Revy wallet. It's versatile, user-friendly and perfect for managing different airdrop opportunities. To be honest, I'm for four years in DeFi and I really prefer Rabbi Wallet to Metamask. It's just a lot better. It's very user-friendly. It uh, switches blockchains automatically for you. Uh, it gives you an overview of what the transaction is about and what happens. So it's just perfect. With your wallet ready, it's time to fund it. If you're going big, use Ethereum for major layer 2 airdrops like Linea or Scroll. Remember, using the official bridge is important here for a bigger airdrop. But if your budget is tighter, no worries, uh, just use a Solana, Polygon or Binance Smart Chain for cheaper transactions to your address. These options are great for getting started. And it's important to fund your wallet from a centralized exchange of your choice uh, because you don't want your wallets to be interconnected a lot. That could flag you as a Sybil account, as a farmer who does this with uh, several accounts and you don't want this. So always the best, just start fresh with a freshly funded wallet. All set, now comes the fun part. You can start farming these airdrops. You just engage with the projects, participate actively and your efforts will most likely be rewarded. Uh, I will link you down below my free Notion airdrop guide where you can find a step-by-step -step guides and tutorials what to do best for airdrop farms. Just to give you an overview, this is the guide. Here you can see the whole content of it. Uh, then I have uh, different categories, uh, green is for beginners, yellow for advanced and red is for pros. I also highlighted the most important rules for successful airdrop hunting, so you should uh, definitely check these out. And uh, then here's the step-by-step -step guide for uh, capital intensive airdrop farms. Uh, for example, Linea is interesting, but also scroll or mode. Less capital intensive are definitely uh, Caldera, for example, Fuel Network. And inside it looks like this. You get the steps, step by step, exactly what you have to do, all the links uh, that you have to follow. This might uh, qualify you for a nice airdrop. 
And there you have it folks, your beginner's guide to navigating the lucrative world of crypto airdrops. Whether you're flush in cash or rich in time, there's an opportunity out there for you. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. See you on the other side.